what's happening everyone we are waiting for the sun to go down in north carolina because i want to do a video on bike lights more specifically bike headlights because i had a company called vaunt reach out to me and ask me if i would take a look at their aftermarket bike light so they sent me this this is the vaunt breeze bike light and they asked me to take a look and let them know what i think and maybe do a review on it so like i always do when i have a company ask me to take a look at something I do a little bit of research and I try to see what other information is out there and what can I possibly add that might be valuable to the YouTube space about a bike or a product or, or whatever. And uh, you know, I found there's a, there's a bunch of videos out there on Vaunt, on their different lights, including Vaunt Breeze and a lot of review videos. So I thought, let me, let me do this citizen style, right? So what is it that I want to know about a bike light? What is it that you want to know about a bike light? And that is, what does this thing look like compared to your stock bike headlight, right? What's the beam pattern look like? Is it any brighter? Should you get it? Is it gonna add visibility for you or not? So I have brought out my entire stable of e-bikes. Look at this lineup right now. That is 10 different e-bikes. And one of these might be the bike that you're riding, right? So I'll run through them real fast. So that's a Jetson Bolt Pro. A Fido D11, Rad Mini Step Through, Bike Trick Stunner X, Hemiway Escape, Cyrusher XF650, uh, Hemiway Cruiser Bike, KBO Breeze, Hemiway Cruiser Step Through, and then this was my, uh, was once a 2018 Rad Rover, but I've heavily modified the heck out of that bike. So we're gonna do a side by side comparison of all of these bike headlights compared to the Vaunt Breeze and see what it looks like. I think that's gonna be the best indication of, you know, do you wanna buy an aftermarket bike headlight or not? So we're gonna do nighttime side-by-side -side look so you can see beam pattern and, and light distribution and, you know, is it any brighter brightness, all that stuff. The crazy thing is, so there are 10 different e-bikes in this lineup, right? And although they share a lot of similar components, the same, you know, shifting mechanisms and the same brakes and the same tires, and there's a lot of parts that are interchangeable, but the headlights are almost all different. There are 10 bikes here and there are eight different headlights. So it's like the industry hasn't really picked a standard headlight yet. So it'll be interesting to see how it matches up against all of these headlights, if it's any brighter, if it uh, has a different pattern. They all have different beam patterns to them. So it'd be cool, kind of cool to see, I think, uh, what this aftermarket light looks like compared to those. And I got one other thing too that I'm gonna do, which is, let me bend down and get this, sorry. Right here, look at this guy. <laughs> if you don't have one of these in your junk drawer or in your house, then leave a comment. But everyone has one of these little flashlights with you know that holds three AAA batteries I think I've probably got just under a thousand of these as Christmas gifts so everyone's got one of these I'm gonna also compare the breeze light to this so maybe that gives you another like real-life comparison of just what the how bright it is and what the beam pattern looks like so uh, no more boring review video of you know how to unbox this thing and how to work the one button that's on it. I'll let you figure that out. We're gonna see what it looks like compared to quite possibly your actual bike headlight. So all that's left now is for the sun to go down. So let's wait for the lights to go out. All right, well, I hope you're in a very dark room so you're able to see these side-by-side -side comparisons. But first up, we have the Vaunt versus the Vaunt. So this is the Vaunt Breeze high beam and low beam comparison. It's pretty drastically different actually. And I guess that's a good aftermarket feature. You get a actual low beam. So if you don't want it quite as bright for whatever reason, you've got that option. All right, next up is the Vaunt versus the Cyrusher XF650 headlight. These are very, very similar. Strikingly similar light patterns actually. Similar on the brightness as well. I, I'm going to give a slight edge to the Cyrusher headlight. I think it's a little bit brighter, uh, but it does have four LEDs versus the Vaunt's just one LED. So it makes sense that it would be brighter, but it's very similar light pattern. Um, these are probably the most similar of the lights, I would say. 
All right, so this is the Vaunt up against the Escape bike from Hemiway. Hemiway's got this really big, wide headlight on there with these two weird eyeball bulb things that produce a, just a round ball of a spotlight, which, uh, I mean, it's super bright, but I'm really not a fan of that. I like more of a floodlight. So in this instance, I mean, my personal preference would be to have the flooding effect of the Vaunt light. So I do like that one better here. And this is the matchup with the Fido D11 headlight. The Fido's light is very flat beam, very focused beam. A lot of folks like this because it'll keep the lights out of the eyes of oncoming traffic. But again, I like the flooding effect better. I, I like to light up the entire roadway. That's my preference, but uh, very distinct light patterns on these two. So I guess it's your preference, which pattern you like the best. Next, we're on to the Vaunt versus the Hemiway Cruiser headlight. The Hemiway headlight's been one of my favorites. It's very, uh, very bright and produces that flooding effect I like, which lights up a lot of the road. These are very similar patterns. Um, I could go with either of these, really. They're they're both fine for me. I think the Hemiway might be a, a, just a touch brighter, but again, you're talking four LEDs versus just one on the Vaunt. So it's kind of impressive, actually, that the, the Vaunt is almost as bright as this this Hemiway headlight. All right, now we got Breeze versus Breeze. This is the Vaunt Breeze versus the KBO Breeze headlight. And uh, again, two very distinct light patterns here. I prefer the Vaunt Breeze actually in this one, just because it lights up more area in front of you. The KBO's light, it's just, it's very direct. It, it hits the strip of land right where you're driving and that's it. I like to be able to see maybe some things on the side of the road in case there's any bears or wolves coming out of the woods to eat me. And here we've got the Vaunt up against the Rad Mini step-through bike. Uh, I found it weird, actually, that the Rad's headlight is round like this. It's got that little halo, but it, yet it produces such a flat beam of light. Um, again, I like the flooding of the Vaunt. I, I don't really care for the Rad Mini headlight as much. And here's Vaunt up against the Jetson Bolt Pro, the $300 Costco bike that never ceases to amaze me. I actually like this headlight a lot. It just lights up a ton of area. Maybe because it's so short and close to the ground. I don't know, but I really do like that headlight. No doubt that the, the Vaunt is much brighter, but that Jetson, man, it just lights up so much space. I love it. What can you say? And this is Vaunt up against the Bike Tricks Stunner X headlight, which I mean, I'll take Vaunt all day long in this matchup. It is much brighter. It lights up much more area in front of you. I think this would be a good upgrade to this bike. I might actually put it on this bike because I think this has one of the dimmer headlights of any bike I have. So that might be where the Vaunt headlight uh, is installed, actually, on the Bike Tricks bike. And rounding out the field is the Vaunt versus the flashlight, the AAA battery flashlight. I'm a little shocked actually at how dim that flashlight was. If you're watching this on your cell phone, you might not even be able to see it on the right hand side, but there is a light there and that's the flashlight. It barely illuminated anything at all. I was a little surprised at that. The Vaunt is just so much brighter than that. And just to give you a little perspective, it's about 35 feet from where I was testing these lights up to the fence line. All right, now that you've seen all the side-by-side -side comparisons, let's talk about why you might actually get an aftermarket headlight. So maybe you want to just be seen better by oncoming traffic, so you add more lights. Maybe you like the beam pattern on this light better than your stock light. Maybe it's brighter than your stock headlight. Maybe you just want additional lighting to light up the woods in front of you. Maybe you want your stock headlight straight ahead and the, the aftermarket one focusing on the ground in front of you just to light up different areas of the path. Maybe you're looking for a light that's removable. So when you drive out, you know, two miles to the back 40 to close your gate to keep your sheep in or your cattle, you can take the light off the bike and use it as a flashlight. You can't do that with your stock headlight, but you could do that with an aftermarket one like the Breeze. Or maybe, just maybe, you want it as a backup light because you're going out on a long ride, you know you're gonna be getting back late and your bike battery dies, so therefore your headlight dies and you need a backup headlight to pedal home in the dark. You can do that if you have an aftermarket one that you can use as a backup. And you can see behind me, I brought out a couple, uh, a couple of the bikes here to illustrate one other thing I wanna show you about this light that I think is important to know. All right, I brought out a couple example bikes to illustrate this next point. So we've got a Hemiway Cruiser here and a Rad Mini, my Cy Rusher bike, and then of course the Mistress bike here. And I've got the light, the, the Breeze right here, 
uh, the Vaunt Breeze mounted on the Rusher bike because the Rusher bike has these nice wide flat handlebars with tons of room here to mount stuff on there. And you can mount this light on there really easily because you got this nice like, you know, four inch long flat piece right here. But a lot of these bikes, that, at least the ones I have anyway, a lot of them have curved handlebars. The Mini here is not quite as curved as others, but you can still see that there's a curve there. And if you try to mount this Vaunt light on here, it's gonna be a little bit crooked. So um, if you're OCD like me, you're, you're gonna want it nice and flat and straight. So here's a look at the, the Hemiway bars are like the, the Rad Rover bars too. They're very, um, you know, there's this big swooping curve here where you know it's gonna be kind of positioned crooked if you, if you mount it on there. So, what you really need to do if you're gonna buy one that mounts like this. So the, the Vaunt just has this rubber strap that goes around the handlebars. It installs on there in like two seconds. It's super easy. Um, but you're gonna, if you're like me and you want it nice and flat, you're probably gonna end up going and getting one of these right here, a little handlebar accessory extender thingamajig. I don't know what you call this. <laughs> accessory handlebar something or another. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have this just, you know, I mounted my extra screen and buttons and stuff up there and you might need one of these. If you've got curved handlebars like this, you might just want to go buy one of these things for accessories for phone mounts and, and lights and whatnot. So just something to think about if you're considering buying the, the Vaunt Breeze here and you do have these curved handlebars, you want to, I guess, get it mounted to your liking. So not all bikes are going to be like that. Of course, this one's got plenty of room here to mount stuff nice and flat on there. There's a close up of the light. Actually, let's get a shot of the front of it too. I haven't done many close ups on it. There you go. So if you're looking for an aftermarket headlight, check out the Vaunt lights. They've got a couple of different versions. They have the scope, they have this one, which is the breeze. Uh, they make other kinds of lights as well. You can find them on Amazon. So super easy to get one if you want to get one. And if you're going to buy it on Amazon, use code C10 cycle. That will save you 10% on checkout. So check it out. Uh, available Amazon also on their website the Vaunt website has them as well you can buy direct there I'll link everything down in the description so you can get to it easily hope that was helpful hope you enjoyed seeing all the different lights including the aftermarket one and uh, hope it helps you decide if it's one you want to get or not so thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later